Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're playing some Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, so I'm sorry for the slow uploads lately, I've been a little busy. Uh, I definitely don't have time to go on with Age of Wonders right now. Uh, but I can definitely definitely check this out. Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 has just uh, released on Steam. I think it's been up for a year or something on uh, uh, Epic Game Store. Uh, so we're gonna give it a go. It's a fresh new account, I haven't played it all. My friend, our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. All right. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it. Okay. Unafraid. I'm not very happy about the narrator voice change. I Did loved this. the guy on the first game, it but that's fine. Hope. The very last of it. Oh, it is yours now. Really? You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from that? this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. All right. I really love the first darkest dungeon. I, I have like a thousand hours on it. I really enjoyed it. And I came back to it over and over again. Borderlands have swallowed by the stain. I am told this is quite different. It's more like Slay the Spire instead of uh, the original um, Darkest Dungeon, but we'll see. Uh, Prologue, I guess. Yep. Reeves Captain or what? Oh, I'm playing? I'm playing. Alright. So this is how we move between encounters. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. And I trembled at its terrible reverberations. The crossroads, where lost souls hope to find their way. Guilt, loathing, failure, regret, disgrace. Okay. Uh, four heroes will join, yep. Alright, we only have four heroes available right now. So this guy is a man at arms. He's called Baristan, or is that. Yeah, that's his name. He's called Baristan. He's a wanderer. To seek is to find. Last one reached the second name. Is that like a talent tree or something they have? Uh, so this is. Uh, I, I guess, I suppose you know how this works, the game, right? It's still the same in terms of combat. 4 vs 4, VS4, most of the time. And this guy will do well in the first three slots, according to his skills, I guess. He's a resolute defender, a front rank, guard, durable, repost. And he's got a goal with some reward, but I can't see what that is. Visit the field hospital. These are his skills. Alright. Uh, basic melee attack that does some heal. Uh, basic melee attack that moves him uh, one position forward. And it knocks the target one position back. That can be very useful. Uh, this increases his uh, his and somebody else's defense, I guess. Alt is so upgraded skill. All right. Um, stress. Okay, this removes stress, I guess. And this is 
again propels himself forward gives him a shield i don't know what the trap symbol is i keep trying like a paradox game you know to move my mouse in the tooltip to see what that is but it doesn't work here oh these are his two paths i guess slippery gone fearing is this i guess that's good and that's bad afraid of the withered and wise and he gets extra stress against those but if his HP is below 75%, he gets 20% evasion. I know that symbol from the first game, that's 20% evasion. Oh, these are the paths. Okay, he's a wanderer. I cannot click this, it does nothing. Uh, visit Strange of Reflection, okay. Uh, this guy, the highwayman, he's also from the first game. He's uh, violently versatile and ruthlessly pragmatic. And rank high damage. He's just a damage dealer, right? His skills are all damage dealers that do bleeds sometimes, I think. Oh, this ignores... Uh... Oh, it doesn't do any damage though. It just marks them, which means that the others will do more damage against them. Alright. I'm not really sure what these icons mean and I cannot hover over them somehow, so... Fanatic Slayer, Tune Hammer... Oh, they've got resistances here too. Okay. Uh, then C is also... Oh, basic damage dealer, but like the other guy, but mostly around poisons. She does poison damage and some heals and stuff. And then this guy is mostly support. He does poison, blight, some heals. He's got a quick stab here. Okay, so I think these positions are fine. Maybe put him in the third position, him in the fourth. They are called the shuffle. Parties get a name, I guess, depending on the composition, like in the first game. And we're in the valley. And what is hope and if yet remains of the world? Am I supposed to smash into this? The bulwark of your oh. denial is giving way. It's a fight, okay. So yeah, tutorial fight, just two guys. Okay, this is block, takes 50% damage from next hit. Uh, he moves first, I guess he's got high initiative. So this gives him something, but I don't quite get repost. Counter attacks the next damaging attack, okay. And moves him a step forward. Then I guess these have high bleeding resistance, right? Oh, I didn't mean to attack, but okay. That's fine. I think they have, can I see? Yeah, they have 40 against Blight, and not that high of a Blight resistance. Alright, uh, well, can I focus on this guy? Yeah, sure. I have an attack that can... Yeah, maybe I need to explain this. So, certain attacks can attack certain positions, and then each position allows you to use different skills. For example, this one can only be used in the first two positions, so if this guy is here or here, then he cannot use this skill. And he can only target the first three positions on the opponent's side. This skill, for example, cannot be used right now because we are out of position, as it says. It cannot be used on the first position, as you can see above. That's the general gist of it. Normally, I'd like to buff, but considering this should be a pretty easy fight, I don't want to waste time and give them chances to attack us. Right, that was the repost, and it also blocked some of the damage, because he still had this buff. Uh, he can only do Blight, which they have high resistance in, but whatever. At least he does do damage. Oh! Okay. So he will take 4 damage per each of his turns, for 3 turns, and you can stack this, both the damage and the turn timer, I think. And then let's just go. Nice. A righteous action. Search every shadow. There is a little light here. I won't cut anything for this first episode. I will edit from the second episode onward. But uh, I want you to get the full experience at least at the start, like I do. Candle of hope, altar currency, faint glimmer that whispers of a brighter hereafter. I think this was used to progress in their paths. 
Oh, I can't open the menus right now. Minor clothing crore vague trinket 20% vague I guess is the reality it's a grey item 20% bleed resistance but minus 10% fire resistance I don't think we're gonna be fighting I mean this you area seems to be there all about so undead and stuff so let's try to go into the inventory and then let's see bleed resistance which of these guys has no bleed resistance? 30, 30, 30, 20. Okay, that's fine, I guess. He's not very likely to get bleeding. Bleeding usually comes from slice attacks, and slice attacks usually don't attack the last position. So he's not very likely to get bleed on him. I'll just give it to this guy. He also has a respectable burn resistance, so losing some is not that bad. And then, what about the, this candle thing? Equip a pet. Yeah, I can't click this. I don't see what we can do with this. I guess we'll find out. Now, am I supposed to hit these or avoid them? Giving in to madness is easier than holding out against it. They are heroes. That's very true. The desperate few. Counters, so that you must pick one of the choices by holding on one of your heroes. Alright. So, I've got two choices here. One is I shall miss the little luxuries of camp. So, we get plus 100 torch. Torch is up here. Uh, it's currently at bright light. It gives us 3% resistances, and the enemies have 5% chance per ready to what? Get blinded? I'm not sure. Um, and then also a trinket old, old and choice for more info oh okay it just pops up flame and trinket okay and then flame and supplies I guess I got the trinket we need some items what was that plus one hope springs in the unlikeliest places Minor cleansing sensor, vague trinket, minus oh, plus fifteen percent blight resistance, I guess, or poison. Ten percent. I think that's move resistance. Some attacks can, as we saw, uh, relocate opponents. So I guess that's resistance to it. And then they lose ten percent stun resistance. That's stun. I know it from the first game. So I think we're gonna give it to this last guy because there's a lot of blight attacks and poison attacks that are ranged and can hit the backline so we'll give this to him and also there's not a lot of stun attacks stun attacks are usually melee attacks so he shouldn't be hit by a lot of stuns anyway i don't know should i be hitting this i'm not sure you can feel it a change in the air heroes yeah okay whatever i mean i know the basic stuff right Pretty much you like see, the first game. Even your valley is not immune to the spreading. All right, pain. that looks a bit tougher. The flame. Oh, okay, he got blinded. Uh, so that's the the chance we have here. Ten percent per ready because we increased the flame. It went from seventy something to a hundred. Uh, Fifty percent chance to miss on the next attack. Okay, and then two lost souls. Uh, he doesn't have very many resistances he's got a high stun resistance relatively high it's a percentile so if it says 30 it means 30 percent stun resistance as far as i know so let's see this can hit both guys at the back and it marks them oh does a combo triggers an additional skill effect when targeted and then it also has a chance to blind them so let's start with this yes Oh yeah, both blinded and one of them got a combo point to combo trigger. Only one damage. But blight. Can we cure blight, I think? No, that's dodge. Heal, nope. Maybe this guy can heal blight. Um, so let's see. You see, this hits both of the two middle slots. But because this guy takes up two slots. Uh, it only attacks him 
so he essentially is occupying slots two and three, right? Positions two and three. Oh, plus fifty percent crit. What target is marked? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sound effect didn't play there, but that's fine. And then I guess let's just take aim. Next skill has 100% crit and ignores 20% resistances. Yeah, and then we're gonna use a, a fat attack on this guy. Or... Yeah, let's finish this guy. I don't know why sound effects are not playing. Wait. Yeah, I don't get it. A promising development. All right, he missed. Fell the tree. My God, that must have been a strong attack. Okay, so now you see the body is taking up a position. So that's position one, position two, and then he's position three and four. So, for example, this attack can't get him. This one cannot. Body's. Uh, some I, th I think debuffs or uh, damage over time spells kill them in one attack, in one hit. But then otherwise we just have to remove their health, to remove them from the board. I don't think you can do very many attacks from back here. The academic here. Let us take a closer oh. look at the thing. As repulsive That's as it his is. attacks. Alright, so let's see this guy. What can we learn upon Yeah, see, inspection? he has no no attack that he can do from the third position. Only fell the tree, which he can only do from the first two positions. So his only choice is to move, we can just ignore him for now. And focus on killing the other guy. And then can he heal yeah yeah, yeah. He removes bleed, blight and um uh, burn. So I guess if HP less than 50%, then it also heals. Otherwise, it doesn't heal at all. No, never mind then. We're gonna do that. Oh, but I have no better choice, I guess. Eh, well. Let's get that guy. And then let's take aim here. Do I have to. Oh. It's only usable on self. Yet I have to click. Okay. And then he's just gonna bolster himself, I guess. Yeah, remove some. Oh, you cannot. Oh, you target somebody else. And then bolsters both. Ooh. Thank God this guy is so armored, right? Blocking half of the damage. Okay, let me see. Um, she's got low, low blight resistance. Yeah, I don't see a better option. Might as well poison. Him. Ah. And then she can do a ranged attack. She can do a ranged attack or heal. So I guess I'm just gonna push him back. He did have an attack there, did he? Ah, we're slowly learning all of their attacks as we're seeing them. So he the, he has this one, carve the toy, self forward one, target, does bleed and stress. Oh. Okay. Converts to... Alright. Days. Did he apply this? I guess he did. Target. Oh, this also adds days. So we have a combo here too. We can... Oh, it needs the target to be marked. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we can try and blind this guy, I guess. Oh, yeah. That worked. This miss. Oh, come on. Yeah, and see, this guy took the full damage. Even though, uh, not like this guy who blocked half of it. 
mean, yeah, let's go flat damage. I'll try to kill him fast. Pretty sure we can kill him this round. Or shall we? Four to eight, and it has a pretty high crit chance. Where did he move? Yeah, okay, let's drop a shield here, remove the blade this as well. At least has been tended to. I don't know why he got healed. That's fine. We could try this. Mm, no. I'll just try to kill him. Yeah, okay, I'm playing before he does. Oh no! She can do Death's Door? Okay, so when a character, at least in the first game, when a character of yours got reduced to zero hit points, they would go into death's door, which means that any hit from here on out could be fatal. But the enemies didn't use to do that. He's also weak. Some monsters have bl death blow resistance, just like heroes do. When a monster is on death's door, each further blow has a chance to slay it. All right. Okay, um, Candle of Hope, another one of those, Chop Dust, Combat Item, Powder, Party, Remove, I don't know what that is. Push on to the inn. Do we like Rest how to equip supplies? Await you. Equip Combat Item, yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm quite enjoying this, to be honest. So far. What's that? Oh, this is a pit stop? <laughs> a rest spot or something? We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. The torch and crown. Prolo complete, you have found your fortitude at last. Collect what hope you can and end your expedition here. What? Why? I guess this is for tutorial purposes? Yeah, you cannot go on. So I'm guessing this is like the campfires from the first one. Where you can just rest and do some buffs to your characters and stuff. We just have nothing available right now. Learn a little. And begin again. All right. Five hope. This will end your expedition. Yeah. Learn from each attempt. Deepen your understanding. And. Oh, I got him off. At any point, you can end the expedition and collect your candles of hope. During normal expedition, making it to the next inn is usually worth the effort because it will award significant additional candles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory will come. So this was just a tutorial end. Uh, we can go for an actual expedition now. Our first true expedition. You must remember the world as it was. Oh. If you hope to save it. Also hope. What is this? In each expedition you earn candles of hope. The altar is where you spend those candles to unlock new classes, items, pets and more. For, th for this first visit you must visit the working fields. Okay. Which are here? Yeah, yeah, everything else is locked. To recall a thing is to make it real once more okay so we can use these to unlock different items what does this two mean oh it's a bucket i guess how many do we have five all right bulwark band distant trinket turn start 15 percent chance for a dodge and on miss you gain blinded so you will miss again and you will gain the... Oh, that's dirty. 
That's dirty. Let's take a stagecoach item. Every Iron banded wheels. Is another Road gear. At our disposal. On entering region, plus one wheel. I don't know what that is. Plus two max wheels. Let's take one of each, I guess. Whittling tools. In item, one target. Yeah, so uh, when you rest at an inn, like I told you, you can use some spells and items to buff your group or heal them. So this can be used at the inn and it will remove three stress from a character. New instruments will help us diagnose the world. And I guess that's a combat item, right? Restorative, one target, add whatever this is, and plus five. I guess that's uh, initiative, how fast they play for three turns. Okay, and we have zero. Yeah, that's fine. Can we just move out of here now? Once more into the maelstrom, in search of what hope yet remains. Yeah, we're slowly uh, the house seeing the, the world in a ravel. The house on the borderlands. By the stain. Denial. So it says Reeves Captives? Captivos? I don't know. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. Oh, come on. Why are you being like that? I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Oh. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Like teacher and... Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. The crossroads. A place All right. between places. So we another deal here. We just choose our team. Let's place these guys. Oh. Harried. What am I doing? A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. All right, and can I equip items here? No, I guess we have to embark first. The unusual suspects. All right. Uh, we enter the valley. Okay, so I guess the valley is the first area. This now, this was a beautiful place once. We already have an item here. What a pity. Yeah, I'll give him dodge. Mm, will I? I guess I'll give him dodge. No, he can passively get dodge. He can passively block. And she has a lot of ranged attacks, and if she misses, I guess this item is bad. I don't wanna end. Mm, if you don't try, you can never know. I mean, I don't wanna enter, enter a chain of misses, but. Comforts are exhausted. Ahead, only trial and tribulation. You see, even your valley is not immune. To the spreading stain. Okay. So, um, I think we can attack. Yeah, yeah. We need to remove here. I am guessing. I mean, based on my knowledge of the first game, how can I stop this? She will probably do attacks that increase stress. So, heroes have health points, the red bar, and then the bar below it is the stress bar, and if it gets filled, bad things might happen good things might happen as well but mostly bad things uh, and enemies that do stress damage attacks that directly increase your stress it, it increases naturally when light is low and when you get attacked and stuff but some enemies specifically increase your stress with almost all their attacks at least on the first game which causes a lot of issues so I want to kind of focus her down if I can Damage difference is not that big, but the crit difference is. Okay. This also ignores armor, it says. And then, does he have any flight resistance? Very low. 
this is kind of wasted because it can hit two positions so we're only using half the spell essentially but I have nothing else to directly attack here with him oh and it also adds a combo which should yep give her a daze and if he plays before her we might be able to turn this into a stun so where is it oh it's this one but i cannot she's in the third position i cannot even kill her oh that's sad oh nice desperate grab oh it missed that's amazing i'm guessing that's melee target oh it pulls him forward so mm, that would be bad how many positions and that's the say is the natural prelude to action nice if he moves one what position forward it's not the end of the world but if he moves two or then three that's catastrophic because he can do nothing from up front you just have to waste turns moving him back um yep let's just focus on killing them Critical amp light. He's dead. For sure. At his turn start. If not now. Yep. Oh, another critical. Criticals are generally good because they sometimes give uh, Burning brightly for stress all the world loss. To see. What's all this? Plus five master points. Master points are invested in the inn to upgrade hero skills. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we have some relics, memories and impressions from a bygone age. I guess you can sell these for money. Rural riches, another currency. Oh, this not, yeah, this is a currency too. Bubbles, they glitter, resplendent and wistful. And then a minor anchoring charm. 15%, I guess. No, wait. That's not on movement, is it? I'm not sure. Probably. It says anchoring charm. 10% stun, but 10% bleed resistance loss. Okay, I guess I'm gonna give that to this guy. Push on to the inn. Rest and we don't want him you. to move from the last position at all. Ideally. Relics and bubbles. Trinkets, stagecoach items, and repair the stagecoach. Oh, wait. Yeah, I never saw this. We have... We have an item, don't we? We cannot place it right now so these are actually wheels damaged when driving on rough routes when 100% each hero gains 50% travel healing oh, okay armor damaged when driving on hazardous routes when 100% each hero starts combat with oh bonus armor slot or armor thing radiant or infernal plane all right one leg to in it says down here yeah, I guess it's the next encounter. I think the game is too loud, is it? Oh my god. It might have been too loud for a while now. Your guard. Soften uh, your gaze. Two counter gain. It is safe here. Yeah, it is safe here. Thank you. Continue. Okay, he got some stress loss. They don't have any stress or anything. I don't think there's anything to do here. Okay, that's that. I don't want to end. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. I think this is an item I can equip on the stagecoach, right? No? The Radiant Flame one, I'm not sure. Road gear, minus 33% traveling flame drain. Chance to produce flapjacks. Everybody likes flapjacks. What are flapjacks? I have no idea. Medical equipment, plus 20% traveling heal, and plus 20% location scouting, okay. Lodanum, yep, removes stress, and I don't know what the other thing is. 
ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. Burn self, anti venom, bandage. Yeah, this is for statuses. A glimmer of hope. Plus one target, plus uh, one target, plus fifteen flame. All right. What's this? Gain items. Slime mold. Food. One target. Ten percent max HP or health until next thing. Is that HP or heal? I think it's HP, right? Add five percent. What? I don't know what that is. Another quirk. Soothing poultice. Whiskey. Two targets. Yet I have no idea what that is. Heal twenty percent. Okay, let's buy one of these. Oh, what happened? Suddenly things appeared. Uh, I guess let's buy one of these just to see what it is. I have no idea what it does. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to press escape. Now, I wanted to see if there is... Oh, that's their quirks. Okay. Okay. What does it say? Music is the trigger for deep seated resentment. Alright. The means of mastery. So is this five points across all of them or five points per? This costs one mastery. Okay, it's for all of them, I guess. They are shared amongst the entire party, yeah yeah yeah. It says so. So, how do I see the upgrade? I guess, okay, yeah, yeah, it's below. Gains quite a lot of damage. Alright, give me a sec, let me go through this, I'll be right back. Okay, so we are gonna upgrade this. This uh, increases the damage a bit and adds a stun when the target is marked. So that's a good one to get. We're definitely gonna get... Which one was it? Uh, this one because it adds a daze uh, to our blinding us and we can apply this to two targets too uh, at increased chance too we're also i wanted something else here i can't remember exactly what nope okay we're gonna get uh this uh, it increases the blight it applies definitely want this one and then this gives super dodge or something on the upgrade i'm not sure what it is i think we'll just get it to find out right we're definitely getting this it uh, changes the dazed when target is marked to stun when target is marked i think that's stun at least so that's excellent and yeah we'll get this just to find out what that super dodge i think it is we'll see your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go yeah this where you put the flame so wait how much does Sometimes the provisioner it's free a helping hand for when all seems lost i don't know is this a trap 10% bleed resistant, 25% like it's free? Nah, that can't be right. Am I putting the game in easy mode? No, I'll decline. I'll just hold on to it. I mean, it says a helping hand for when all seems lost, so maybe when all seems lost. And yeah, let's increase the wheels here. This is repair, I guess. Yeah, repair for wheels, repair for armor. I'm not gonna repair for the extra ones. We don't have any trophies to equip. And then... Your position. Oh. Exterminate gold anti-commerce. Avoid the hoarder. So that's the shop, I guess. Or something. I'll go here because it gives a mastery point, and master points seem to be trenches and tents. The front lines of a war that was never fought. 
yeah, they don't need anything. There's nothing I'm gonna use here to help them. I, I guess this, but I don't know what it does. Alt doesn't do anything. I'm trying Alt. But it doesn't do anything. I guess only if I use it, I can know what it does, right? Ah. Let's at least have some stress. Maybe it helps with stress or something. We'll see. Rest for the night and the journey onward. You can still afford more stagecoach repairs. Yeah, I don't care. I think my stagecoach is fine. How many times do I have to hit on the bark? Oh, come on. Wait, let's keep opening. Oh! Only resignation. Okay, tell you what, uh, we've hit the 40 minute mark. I know this is kind of a long episode, but, uh, you know, it's the first episode of a new series. I like to read stuff, see what everything is. Um, I'll cut here and I'll probably upload the second episode too with the first run, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.